I will not plead guilty to a felony because under these circumstances, I was in an emergency situation. A Los Banos dairy farmer and school board member says he's not guilty of dumping cow waste into state waterways, but he does admit he was wrong about something. The State Department of Fish and Game claims Dennis Arreyes pumped thousands of gallons of animal wastewater into a ditch connected to Salt Slough. However, Arreyes says torrential rain put his livestock in danger and he needed to drain the water fast. Action News North Valley reporter Natalie Gronda joins us now live from Los Banos with why the farmer says he just ran out of options. Natalie? That's right, Warren and Margo. State Department officials say that Arreyes dumped more than 300,000 gallons of cow waste into this ditch. Now, water that goes into this ditch could potentially leak into the San Joaquin River. And he admitted to the crime, but he says he was just trying to save his animals and he was left with no other options. The ditch near this dairy farm now sits empty, but the State Department claims just a few months ago it was full of cow waste water that local dairy farmer Dennis Arreyes and another employee were illegally dumping. Arreyes, a Los Bana school board member, pleaded not guilty to the charge. There was never a chance of this water getting to any waterways. Absolutely zero. The report claims a warden with the State Department of Fish and Game noticed a hose moving cow waste near Boxcar and Henry Miller. Road. When he located the ditch, it states the water was dark brown, smelled like cow waste, and had a thick consistency. And after testing, the department found the water had toxic levels of ammonia to where it could harm fish populations. When they contacted Arreyes, they say he knew it was illegal and that he used a six inch hose to pump at night so, quote, no one would see. It was on the side of the road. But Arreyes says the report doesn't the tell the whole story. Fine. My animals were getting sick. And traffic was a big problem on Henry Miller Road, and it was a six-inch hose I needed to pull back every time a car came by. Arreyes says the torrential rain that month was putting his livestock in danger. The water was too deep to get them out, and he needed to make decisions fast. He says he contacted the San Luis Canal Company and the landlord of the property containing the ditch. With some provisions, he says he got permission to pump the water. I contacted the landowner to see if it would be okay, even though I know it's not legal. Arreyes says after he got the cows out, he immediately pumped the water back out of the ditch. It was either let them sit in the corral and die in front of me or do the best I can to take care of them. He says he spent a lot of money modifying the corrals and widening the ditches to ensure this doesn't happen again. But his one-time mistake is one he'll have to deal with for a while longer. Now, of course, this isn't the uh, first time that a Los Banos school member has gotten in trouble with the law. As you recall, last year, Tommy Jones was allegedly bribing another trustee. However, when we brought that up with Arreyes, he was offended, saying that he admitted to the crime. He never ran away from the crime, and he is due back in court in mid-December. Live in Los Banos, I'm Natalie Granda, ABC 30 Action News.